Are these mopani worms? <laughs> ah, and you eat them like that? I can uh, eat them straight. I cook. I cook. Yeah, you cook it and then eat. Cook it and then eat. Yeah. How much? Ten rand. Good morning internet, it is 5 past 7 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Good morning to you. Welcome here in Gulawayo in Zimbabwe. It is time to make some breakfast and then after the breakfast I'm going to do some local riding today. There is a national park not too far from here which is super beautiful apparently. I'm really quite excited for today uh, but first I'm going to make myself a nice big breakfast. It was a really nice breakfast and I even made myself some packed lunch. Now, when does that ever happen? And normally I just kind of st seem to starve myself during the rides. <laughs> Not on purpose, but uh, yeah, I tend to skip lunch uh, usually. Um, so now I actually have lunch with me. Quick peek on the map where I am and where I'm riding today. Oh, hey guys. Hello. Hello, sweeties. Um, okay, <laughs> this is going to be a little bit more challenging. So I'm now here in Bulawayo, and no, <laughs> don't eat the microphone. And I'll be riding here in Matobo National. I'm now here in Bulawayo, and I'll be riding in the Matobo National Park. No, don't eat the microphone. <laughs> you guys are up to no good. Up to no good. Okay, fourth try. Um, here is the Matobo National Park over here. So this is where I'll be riding. Thank you. This national park has actually the highest concentration of leopards in the world. This is prime location for leopards. They love the hills, the rocks, the trees. This is a nice little trail. Quite like this road. This area is also full of caves and there's a lot of uh, paintings again, rock paintings inside those caves. So I'm not sure if I will manage to see some. What an absolute stunning area. Wow. Wow, these people just live right in between these rock outcrops everywhere. Massive granite boulders. Oh, oh big hole in the ground I have a feeling it's only cattle really passing here I don't see any tire tracks at all Where does the truck go? Over here. So much iron everywhere. Oh, it reminds me of Australia. These red soils. Ah, uh, wait. This is the um, entrance of the national park. No motorbikes. Yeah, because I've been riding kind of on the edge of the of the park all this time. Because um, I thought it would be allowed to go into 
a certain part of the park but it's actually not the case so I'll turn around and then I'll just try to see if there's a track which kind of runs parallel again where it is allowed for me to to go because I saw a track going that way this one because it's equally stunning to just ride right on the outskirts of this area it's just gorgeous everywhere Somewhere here should be one of the many, many caves, um, quite accessible. So I'm trying to find it now. It should be somewhere here, I think. Ah, yeah, here it is. Gul Gulubawe Cave, a World Heritage Site. It's probably somewhere there, I would say. Right, let's see if I manage to find this cave. Wow, amazing paintings. They're massive, I think those are all people. And I think lots more people, oh, and lots more people here. Warriors with bow and arrow. What an amazing place, right? And. The location is just stunning. It is so beautiful around here. And so this is only one of the many, many sites where there's rock paintings. There are thousands of them in the area. But I think I'm just gonna have a lunch here, bring my packed lunch, and then, uh, yeah, take a small break because it's now around noon. So, time to do uh, the lunch.
Okay, going to follow this road for another 30 kilometers or so. I am really loving today's ride. It's just so beautiful everywhere and the track is super cool and a little tricky sometimes. But yeah, this entire area is just so cool. These rock formations are just stunning. Good, thanks. Where are you going? I'm going, I'm going down there. That way? Yeah. You live there? What? That's your house, your home? No, my home is... It's back that, that, that way. way. Uh, I'm going to the snake there. Uh, nice bike. Uh, <laughs> 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 How many more kilometers you need to go? Uh, it's just about... Uh, 20 minutes time now. 20 minutes. Or or okay, good. Yeah. Alright. Huh? What is this? This is the compass. It's yeah, it's. Navig yes. Okay. Navigation. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now it's a make U turn, but I'm not listening. I keep going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's, it's this thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it says oh, make U turn. Yes. Yeah. Make, okay. But uh, but yeah. I go straight. Yeah, <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, thank you. Good luck, eh? Okay. Nice to meet you. Sure. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. We have a pinda store. What would they sell at the pinda store? Hi. Um, How are you? I'm fine. <sighs> mm, what do we have? Are those peanuts? Sugar beans. Oh. And what, what are those? Yeah? What is it called? Imponchua. <laughs> is it good? Are these Mopani worms? Ah, oh, these are Mopani worms. Ah, and you eat them like that? I can eat them straight. Ah, cook. Cook it and then eat. How much? Ten rand. Ten. This one? No, I want not point. In this money, fifty. Fifty point. Fifty. Okay. Yeah, fifty point. Sorry, I find it confusing. Yeah. Fifty. This one. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> right. No bunny worms. Found them. I knew they were, you could get them here, somewhere in Zimbabwe. These Mopani worms, I can't eat them like that. I have to cook them. So I'm not too sure yet how to do that. <laughs> but I will ask around how to cook them. But um, I know it's it's not the, oh, what am I doing? It's not season for Mopani worms. They, I think they are in December probably like around rainy season then people go out and collect them collect them and it's quite an interesting process in how they then kind of clean them and prepare them i think so i can't see that anywhere now because it's not season but um at least i got some dry i think they're dried small bunny worms and um i'll see if i can do something with them, cook them or something. <laughs> we'll find out. Oh, got another 
dry river, sandy thingy crossing. I am back, home sweet home. Thank you. It's okay. Okay, it is Mopani worm time. <laughs> I'm going to try these out. And uh, Jolene is here, she works here. And she already told me that I first have to boil it and then dry it and then fry it. So uh, that's the plan and then uh, I'm gonna try them out. Oh, I got the whole puppy brigade. Hi guys. <laughs> okay, these are the ones I boiled. Are they any good? Yes, I boiled and then it was because some, sometimes they will be mad. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So must do wash them thoroughly. Okay, so first I'm going to boil them. Mm -hmm. Okay, but they look like caterpillars. Caterpillars to me. They look like caterpillars. Yeah, <laughs> but they're not. Or are they? Kind no, of? they're not caterpillars. They really are worms, and they live on the mopani trees. Yes. Really quite fat. Okay, um, boil some water. I'm going to throw in the Mopani worms. That's, that, that's a whole meal. Alright. <laughs> oh, wait. I missed two. Boil them for about 20 minutes. And then, yeah, the washing is really important because otherwise it can be like sand or like dirt still uh, in, in, in them. Yeah, they look like caterpillars to me, but apparently they're not caterpillars. It's quite interesting. And they live on those Mopani trees, and that's also all the firewood that people are selling everywhere. There's also all for Mopani trees. You'll find them everywhere. And I think the elephants really like the Mopani trees as well. Anyway, now we wait. Okay, step one complete. Boiling is done. And now what do I do with it. <laughs> now we wash it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just with. Oh. Okay. Ah, like that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, and then we do it a few times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there is a lot of dirt coming out of yes. that. Yes. Wow. Okay. And now what do I do? Back to the Back? Oh, back on the fire? Yes. Oh. Oh, now we're going to fry them immediately. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. This much? I a lot of oil. A lot. Okay. This much? Okay, and then salt. Ready. <laughs> Dishing up. I'll, I'll just try this fat one. Or maybe a few fat ones. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. Will you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. You can come eat with me. You can show me how it's done. No, it's not hot. It's just me. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Okay. Um, 
ja. Het is just the mental thing. Like what you said, when you're thinking I'm eating a caterpillar. Yes, yes. It becomes different. But if you check out of your mind, you yeah. can enjoy them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Switch up the mind. Yeah. Just eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> No, no thinking about caterpillars. Mm -hmm. Just it's like just to focus the focus. and enjoy your meal. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's it's a lot of chewing. Yes, there's a lot of chewing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> mm -hmm. That was my Mopani worm experience. Mm -hmm. I'll give the rest to you. <laughs> <laughs> the one, it's enough. It's enough. I've, I've tried it. All right. And it's it's different. Yeah, it doesn't taste like anything. Uh, it has its own taste. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a lot of work, a lot of chewing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for Thank your you. help, though. <laughs> uh, so that was the Bopani worms. Um, and that was it for today as well. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video. Bye.